Wendy's Castle awaits us. But it's just a regular double exit level. And this is... Okay. Oh, well, those hammers were doing damage to him. Interesting. Oh, crap. See, this game fakes me out all the time. I, I thought he was going to be one of those guys shoveling. I'm just so mentally used to it. This is going to take me back over that pit of lava, but I want to see if I can get a power-up or something. Oh, gosh. Ice! This is probably a bad idea. Oh, wait. That's water. For a second, I thought that was the wrong colored lava. I wasn't looking too closely at it. All right. Worth it, I guess. For the... Mushroom. So anyway, oh. Last time with that um, big boo boss fight, it, it ended up occurring to me that I haven't done the, or I haven't encountered a um, Resiner fight yet. Ooh. A little bit risky there. So now I'm really kind of nervous about what that's going to end up being like. It is kind of interesting to see what those guys at one of the um, it looks like one of those at least is sort of programmed to spawn no matter what. But yeah, I'm really kind of What the? Okay, that's a really awkward. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's a really awkward sort of thing to do. Anyway. Oh, I got enough for a bonus game, apparently. Let's go. Um, maybe. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, I have no clue what this randomizer even covers anymore. So, with the uh, magic of, you know, them adding Eeries and that Boo Chain to that big Boo boss fight, yeah, he, there's no way to know what can end up. Coming for us in one of their Resonor fights. Now? Alright. But in the meantime... As I can just talk about... Boring, ordinary things that I kind of... Miss doing. It, it, it kind of occurs to me as we're now... Getting to... Almost a year since, you know, we had um, the lockdown and all that. Uh, that, you know, we're... I, ha I haven't been to the movies as much. Like, it used to be a thing where I would, you know, it would be pretty regular. I guess I'm just going to have to eat damage because I can't get through that guy any other way. Alright, well, I can do the secret exit easily enough. But yeah, no, the la it's funny to think now that the last movie I saw in the theaters was the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. And that was at my old theater in town that actually closed like two months after everything started. Uh, this level... All right, so yeah, there's a, yeah, I know there's like a weird thing you can, ugh, there goes my controller acting weird again. Again, it's like drifting. But yeah, that, since that theater no longer is in operation, because they had closed down like maybe two months into the pandemic, so... Given that, you know, I haven't really 
been it hasn't really been like a a good idea to really go to theaters. I haven't really got a chance to fully appreciate it not being around anymore. Okay, water, sure. But I th I know that you know once we do get back to a regular state of things, it's gonna be like, man, I'm really gonna miss having the, a theater that was basically a mile away from my house. But yeah, thinking about that being the last real movie I saw in theaters is really crazy to think about. I mean, another theater that's a little bit further away, they did like a drive-in sort of program. Um, they did that nearby, pretty much in their parking lot, you know, nearby everything else that they have, but since they weren't able to do anything, like, indoors, ugh, that was a little bit risky. So I went to, I never went to see Jaws, but yeah, it's been a while since I've seen a new release movie. Although, in terms of movies, I feel like that's not necessarily, you know... A complete negative because I mean there's some things like like kind of having a natural well if I would have jumped around that block properly but yeah kind of having a natural break from things that are felt a little oversaturated like I, I love watching the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies but I'm not gonna complain for kind of getting a bit of a sort of a deep breath because you know when you step back and consider that we've had, you know, what, like 22, I think, or so, in just a little over the space of a, you know, about 11, 12 years, whatever, whatever it was, you know, and considering the James Bond um, franchise had pretty much that same amount of movies within the span of you know 50 years oh god yeah this is the part where all the bullet bills start going ham you know so oh jeez why did i go why did i go after this box i didn't i didn't really need it must run from the bullet bills oh yeah, that time you want to hit the other Koopas. Sure, why not? So yeah, being able to sort of take a, a step back from it, I won't complain too, too much. I'll be ready to get back into them by the time we get things sort of back to an even keel, whenever that ends up being. And another ticket to the Hype Path, right? Oh, this one actually takes us to the Star Road. Or the special road, rather. Um, so we had star, um, uh, rabbit guy, and another star. <laughs> yeah, Lemmy's castle. Yeah, we will leave this one for a little later. That looks like something to save. But yeah, other than that, I feel like, um, you know... It is funny, I can sort of say, like, man, I, I wish I could say that I've been able to curb new movie spending, but it's like, well, instead of having a bunch of new movies, release movies to buy, now it's just a bunch of buying older movies that get re-released in maybe 4K or something. So we still spend our money. Perhaps uh, somewhat foolishly. All right. Yeah, come on. Not getting faked out again. All right. I'll have to see. All right. Well, I don't need Yoshi, but the cape, I think, will be helpful. Oh. Wow, there's a ceiling on there. That's weird. 
All right, I, I know I can get this. I think it's just, a, yeah, there we go. It's just a matter of getting the right height to grab it in the midair. No, 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 no. Let's not get massacred by you. Yeah, so this one is just an egg that's going to build us a sort of a, a path back there. Um, I want to check and see that one exit back here in the cavern. I can't remember all of the, uh, yeah, I can't remember every single thing that I need for that, but I want to see if I can get that because I'm, I'm a little bit suspicious that it's going to be another one of the switches behind there. I mean, it could end up being just a... Um, another ticket to the Star Road or something. But... I do want to see if I, it could, if, uh, if I do have the ability to get there now because... If it is, if it is one of the switches, if it is like the last switch, because I think I only have the yellow switch left if I mentally am keeping track of this properly. Okay, yeah, so I can get there now. I only need a green and, um, okay. Goodbye. All right, so this is going to be the yellow switch. Oh, blue switch. I thought I did already get this one. See, I'm not really keeping track of my switches very well. You know, it's kind of funny, because I almost never have the Yoshi going into this uh, switch here. Because you almost always do this switch, because uh, this is usually the yellow switch room. And I almost never have Yoshi, because you always do this one almost immediately. Well... <laughs> Disappearing tongue. All right, so no yump, but that's another fun kind of glitch. All right, well, more switches the merrier. Still not quite the droids we're looking for. And just to be um, curious, okay, I did get everything else over here. All right. So we've got that cleared up, so I guess uh, yellow switch is going to be somewhere in the Chocolate Mountain, I would kind of imagine. All right, let me see if I can get the secret eggs over here, because I can possibly, possibly... Oh, yeah, I can do this one because I just did the uh, secret exit because it was easy enough. Yeah, I, th I think um, I think I'll have the ability to do the secret exit in the last one here. So I think I can uh, finish up. Yeah, I think I can finish up everything here in Forest Evolution. Nice. Alright. I swear, some of these rooms just end up looking really familiar, and I'm like, is this... Are they, like, recycling everything? Or I'm probably just losing my mind. I kind of like how the green shell is now the, uh, kind of jack-of-all-trade shell. It doesn't give you the um, yellow shell cloud, but... Alright, hang on. Okay, I guess I'll have to go up. thought I could squeeze off over top and get out that way, but apparently not. 
you know, just get rid of the block. Hey, whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can do the secret exit up here in Amazing. And I'm just gonna save my cape for now. But yeah, as I was thinking about movies, I'm gonna, whoa, shoot. Um, that's not good. Yeah, as I was thinking about movies, you know, I kind of thought about Sonic, and I'm thinking, and once again, I'm at the risk of repeating myself if I've talked about it beforehand, but it was amazing, you know, how much I did end up enjoying it relative to what I uh, kind of thought was going to be a, um, rather lackluster film um i mean what the heck all right come back oh he ate the key anyway whatever i think i'm just gonna come back to that whenever i find the yellow switch we're just gonna do the castle Uh, yeah, I could go back to there and, and deal with, um, um, uh, you know, cape nonsense, but, you know, eh. See, like I said, I, I, I definitely feel like, no matter what I do, it's, it is not quite, um, set up here to handle like some of these mechanics because it shouldn't be quite this janky moving around on this cage and if i try to change directions it, it gets really finicky huh bonus room actually you know what i have so many lives i'm not even worried about it because this next room is going to be long oh never mind it's going right to the boss room i I could have sworn it was going to give me another room here, but. So it gives me the very first castle room plus a bonus room. Oh. I'm not even paying attention. I thought he was dead. I'm so stupid. I deserve to take the hit there. I am. I guess, like, I could have almost died, and this ended up being the easiest castle in the universe. Cool. So, except for the one secret exit, that's another level done. Guess we'll have to see. I may still get in with my estimate. I know I said I was probably going to be over my, like, what, eight or nine video kind of guesstimate of how long this was going to take me, but. You know, it could be. I don't, you know, it depends on how tricky certain aspects of this end up being because like i said i still have to do all the star road and and special road so who knows and these yellow switch boxes keep taunting me oh okay we just we do have sea mines sure <laughs> okay <laughs> Right to the exit. Overall, this one's been a pretty easy segment. Yeah, well, I didn't even think what pasta plateau zone. <laughs> sure, hyperold question mark. I swear, anything with a question mark ends up being rather foreboding. So yeah, so everywhere except that one stupid level, the fact that I guess my randomizer decrees that Lakitu throws fish has kind of worked out to my benefit. 
Ay, ay, ay. Get me away from the lag. All right, whatever. I can't even control the cloud. Go up. It was kind of laggy, but that wasn't really the whole, the whole story of that. There's too many enemies. <laughs> I love when it just gets random swimming. Sure, let's just get out of here. I don't even know. There are some weird enemies over there, but who cares? We're going in, we're going into hyperdrive here. Diamond Center. I feel like this would be a a good level to try to find that secret exit. Because I, I I have a feeling if if the um, yellow switch is going to be anywhere, it's going to be kind of where the secret path that this place uh, goes to is. That that's pretty much the only possible option that this left at this point. Yeah, well. I don't know why. I don't really need the secret right there, but. Um, okay. Where are you going to take me to? Oh, take me, ba take me back. All right. So that is not going to be where our secret exit is. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, clown. I get... I'm just going to have to keep complaining about it because I swear it feels like you're underwater when you're using any of these kind of... Um, those kind of powers, like between the cloud or the... Pea balloon. It's just so stupid and unresponsive. All right, well, normal exit takes us to the secret exit. Oh, okay. So this isn't it. Did, is it really in that Valley of Bowser area, I wonder? Like it... I didn't think they would put it in the middle of a, um, you know, a middle of a pathway, but yeah, I just don't know where else to, to really look for it at this stage. Cause there's not really anywhere else. Oh, okay. I was going to say, we're still going to have these guys to annoy us, right? Because <laughs> that's the big thing with this stage. Is, yeah, you have those guys just sort of like jumping all in your business. All right. Well, we got a little bit of time left. So I'm going to try and see if I can... Yeah. Oh, man, a fortress at the sunken ghost ship. That's great. See, I'm going to try to see if I can get the key exit at this level. And um, I think I will uh, call it there. So I guess it just has to be one of the pipes. And I and I just kind of totally forgotten everything about this level. All right, well... Yeah, just keep trying pipes. Well, it can, uh... Well. I was gonna say, it can't really hurt to... 
keep trying different things, right? Cannot find the right exit. Oh, come on. I This thing. Stop going so slow. Must continue to complain about my controls. Alright. And like I said, that only took us to... You know, that only took us to a... Um, oh, here we go. Oh, of course, it had to be a baseball chuck. Sure, why not? <laughs> Okay. Diamond K4. So Diamond Center to Diamond K4. Well, I think uh, it's a good spot to leave it for now. So until next time. I'll get you.